Is everything a race issue? Hell yeah! What's up, illustrious fam? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. For those of you that are new here, my name is Adrian. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you can remain in the loop for any time that I post. All right, y'all, so today I decided to do a very quick, very informal video. As y'all can see, I'm in my comfortable house clothes. I got kid on the headwear. For those of you that watched my last video, if you didn't, what you doing with your life? Um, you know about my friend Jalen's streetwear brand kid. I will link it down below. These hats are so comfortable. So I'm just in a chill, very chill vibe today. And I wanted to talk about something that has been on my heart. And I'm the type of person that when I can't get something out of my mind or off of my heart, I have to speak on it. So feel free to agree or disagree respectfully in the comments and let's have a dialogue. Tell me what you think about what it is we're about to talk about. So basically, a couple of weeks ago, as we all know, we saw a very heinous display of terrorism at our nation's capital in Washington, D.C. And actually, this video is not going to be about the treacherous events that took place because that's a whole other conversation for a whole other time. But what I do want to address is what I saw online, which was a lot of white people saying things like, well, why are black people even making this a race issue? Like this isn't even about race or it's bigger than race. And what I'm assuming they were referring to were posts where black people were expressing outrage and saying things like, well, if this were a group of black rioters, we already know that there'd be carnage everywhere because the police would have acted violently versus these are white terrorists and a, they were invited in by the police. Um, I'm assuming that's what they were referring to when they said that. But it got me to thinking about how so often white people say to black people, well, you're pulling the race card or you're making everything a race issue, which then got me thinking, is everything a race issue? Hell yeah, everything is a race issue, okay? So literally, no, literally not everything is a race issue, but do most things that happen or most issues that occur have roots in racist doctrine or racist practice or some sort of systemic oppression? Yes, or does race add a layer, an extra layer to situations that make them feel differently for black people than they do for white people? Yes. So let's talk about it. Let me give you an example. I'm actually going to give you two personal anecdotes of things that have happened to me to kind of help you understand better what I mean. So for those of you that don't know, I am a teacher and I work in a predominantly white institution. And one day one of my students who was a little bit out of sorts, uh, she was being very distracting and disruptive to the class and they had an assignment due at the end of class. So I went over to her and I was trying to redirect her. And as I'm talking to her, I realized that she has glued a sheet of notebook paper to the desk for no reason. And it's like stuck on there and she's chipping away at it and it's just making a huge mess. So I'm just like, sis, what are you doing? Like, you got an assignment due at the end of class. Like, what's up? Why Why did you do this? And she's just being goofy. Like, oh, I don't know. I just felt like it. Like, I just I didn't want to do the assignment. Like, I just, I'm chilling. I don't want to do it. So I was just like, okay, so you also damaged property here. So like, how are you going to clean this up? Like, what are you going to do? And she was like, I'm not going to clean it up. But I mean, if you want to go fetch me something to do it, then you can do it. So I will say you're 22. You're I right, get it. Enough. Flat out like that. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, what does this have to do with race? Had she made that comment to another white teacher, from white student to white teacher, would it have been disrespectful? Yes, absolutely. From student to teacher, it was just disrespectful, period. But there is an added layer of disrespect because it was a white student and a black teacher. So she told me, she wasn't gonna do it, but I could go fetch her something and I could do it myself. So the word fetch obviously has many connotations. You can think of it 
in terms of a dog. You can also think of it in terms of like shucking and jiving and stepping and fetching it, which has a very negative connotation and lands differently on black people. So of course the student wasn't sitting there being like, oh, I should think about the connotation of this word before I use it, but she should. We should be teaching our kids. That's why I don't subscribe to the whole, I don't see color narrative. We should see color. You should absolutely see who the person is in front of you that you are talking to and choose your words carefully because whether or not white people want to admit it, there are certain things you cannot say to black people because they are going to land differently on us. Sometimes white people think, oh, I don't say the N word, check that box. And that's, you know, it for the things I can't say to black people. No, there are many things that you cannot say to us because they are going to land differently. Would it have been disrespectful to a white teacher? Yes, but white people never have to question when they're insulted by another white person, they never have to question whether or not that white person is thinking that they're subservient due to their race. And what she said to me and the fact that she said it to me, she talked to me like I worked for her. And I'm like, since I'm not your nanny, I do not work for you in any capacity. I am not your servant of any kind. So I just feel like we need to be teaching our children to not just respect people because that's what you do. You respect all people. Yes, you respect all people. And also there are certain things that you cannot say depending on who you're talking to because it's gonna land differently. And that's just facts. So the second story, a little bit different, but pretty much the same theme. Uh, a couple of years ago at work, I was sitting on this professional development committee and we had an accreditation report due and I wrote a lengthy piece of the report. So this was the meeting where everybody had gone, you know, individually and written their pieces of the report and we were coming together to review them. So we got to my section. Mind you, we were, I think my section was the last one or close to the last one. So we had read everybody else's, you know, in the group before mine and you know they were making edits and stuff along the way but generally positive feedback oh this is this is good oh nice job so and so nice job <sighs> when we got to my section at the end of it one of my colleagues said oh this is actually really well written this is actually really well written. Now I know some people at home might be like, Adrian, oh my gosh, you're getting so caught up in semantics. Like word choice doesn't matter. Word choice does matter. Or they probably didn't mean it in that way. Word choice matters and you have to be mindful of it because that simple, simple word, again, had a white colleague said it to a white colleague, the person, the white colleague who was offended might have been like, oh, well, dang, you just, you know, you just shade me up. Like, of course it's well written. But to me, it showed me that in your mind, the default for black people is to not be good writers. It's like when people used to tell me as a kid, oh, you speak so well. It's like the default in your mind is that I shouldn't speak well or black people don't speak well and I'm an anomaly. And so by saying, oh, wow, this is actually well written gives off this sense of surprise that you thought it wasn't going to be well written. And now I've superseded your expectations because wow, this black girl can write. Oh, she knows where to put the commas. A semicolon. Wow. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. And so pretty much, y'all, to sum up, is everything a race issue? Hell yeah, it is because we are living these race issues every day. So to my white subscribers, to white people that encounter this video, to my white friends, we just got to start getting real with y'all about how things land. It's not appropriate to question black people about whether or not things are race issues or it's, it's, uh, it's actually a form of silencing us when you're like, well, everything's not a race issue. You're not living it. It's not your experience. So of course it's not a race issue to you, but it absolutely is a race issue to me. And so I hope this video helps somebody expand their worldview and potentially stop themselves next time they go to say something to a black person. Just at least question how this is going to land and if there is an added layer of race because I promise you more often than not, there is. 
If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. And let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Anybody who knows me knows that I love civil dialogue. I love talking about anything, especially if it's something deep and it's going to lead to some sort of healthy debate. So please let me know, have you ever had an experience like this? Or do you completely disagree with me and you like, sis, you tripping, not everything is a race issue. Let me know that in the comments. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much. Thank you again for your constant support. And until the next video, live illustriously. I'll see you next time.